happy readers, my name is Liz and today we're talking about Capturing Camelot by Kitty Kelly. You are now watching Liz ebooks. This book is all about Stanley Tetrick's photography of the Kennedys and all the things that he did for them and did with uh, Kitty Kelly as far as their friendships and personal and uh, I guess uh, professional relationships with them and uh, even down to some of the memorabilia that he kept. Basically Stanley Tetrick did um, a lot of their photo shoots or I guess just kind of like photography for life and look and things like that and so basically he was one of their trusted photographers and uh, was invited to dinner parties and stuff like that like here you see the JFK uh, hand towel from the bathroom don't know what that's about she even says in the book like Kitty Kelly was like don't know how he got it if it was like a gift or something basically what happened was uh, when Stanley passed away I forget when it was but uh, she, Kitty Kelly, got the um, his like steamer trunk or whatever kind of trunk that he had in the military, I believe, something, something like that. But uh, basically, she got all this like memorabilia that he had and pictures and stuff like that. And I think there were like some original negatives, from what I remember. I read this book almost a month ago, then had finals, so some of the details are a little bit, a little bit foggy. But for the most part, I'm just kind of gonna. Flip through this. A lot of the book really has to do with Kitty's perspective of all of this and uh, one part she actually talks about how like one time she and Stanley were uh, interviewing Frank Sinatra's son something like that and like she totally got pissed off at him because like something bad happened with the interview and it just got totally screwed up and she was just like it's all your fault blah 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 and so it's kind of funny to read because it like it kind of shows you different parts of his personality and not just the oh well he was the photographer of the Kennedys isn't that so nice and all these prolific images that he took but this isn't really like bad it's like just you know it's just like things happen and this is how you react to them and so yeah but this book kind of goes like timeline chronologically wise I'm doing this because this is my chronological movement but yeah it just kind of flows through their time as far as um you know john f kennedy uh like running for office campaigning stuff like that and actually dealing with things in office like this part is like early in the korean war and it's got this awesome picture of him probably feeling very stressed out and then you've got these awesome times where it's like oh my gosh i'm the best man in the world what up? I think this is my favorite picture. It's uh, John F. Kennedy catching some bananas. Not actually sure if I'm supposed to show the pictures, but I feel like that's a big part of the book. Like, look, at I'm totally messing up this book, this dust jacket. Let's show, let's see what it looks like on the back side. Doesn't that look pretty? It's pretty. It's, it's so pretty, guys. This book is gorgeous. And I just like went through it and was like, I'm gonna start crying. I'm going to start crying because there are like pictures of the uh, young Kennedys, like uh, John and Jackie's children, and the the cousins of those kids, things like that, and um, kind of talking about there's like more to the family than just the you know the immediate family, and so along with uh, Stanley's progression through his life and through his career and film, and, or I guess he did still images for some movies because in the earlier part of the book it shows him with like Robert Redford like standing there taking a picture and uh, near the end of the book it not only does you know later years of Stanley life but also like after you know John F. Kennedy dies you know Bobby runs for office and things like that and his brother Bobby if you don't know American history basically John F. Kennedy ran was president was shot uh, and then his brother Bobby campaigned and I don't know how far along he got as far as like all that stuff, but he was also shot. Like this family, I was talking to my mom about this, but like their family had like just a really horrific past as far as like and horrific luck. I don't know how to explain my feels about the Kennedys, but just I feel like if you read this book, you will understand. And um, I think Kitty Kelly captured it very perfectly as far as like how we view the Kennedys and how Stanley viewed the Kennedys and all these people who were involved in their lives and things like that. They just, uh, just, I like it. I like this book. 
I really do. So I really hope you go read Capturing Camelot by Kitty Kelly. It is 30 bucks, but you do get a lot of amazing photography. Like, you know, if you ever seen uh, the one of Little John under uh, John F. Kennedy's desk when he was a president and stuff like that, and just little, like, pictures of his kids and things like that that may or may not have made it into the magazines. I'm not sure, but, you know, there's just some really, like, intimate moments um, with this family that is been caught on film and so if you're looking for that definitely pick up this book it's wonderful i hope you all have a great day and keep reading